Yo, what's up, my dudes? It's Phantom Coasters. Welcome back to another video. It's National Roller Coaster Day today. Guess who's not riding a roller coaster today? Yeah, it's cool all day. Uh, oh well. It wasn't that bad, honestly. But yeah, no roller coasters for me on National Roller Coaster Day. And there probably won't be ever, to be honest. Maybe, well, I don't know. Maybe, like, when I'm an adult. We'll see. But... I figured I should probably post since it's like National Roller Coaster Day and my channel is literally all about roller coasters. So like this is going to be a completely random video and I'm going to sit down. This is going to be a completely random video of a bunch of different things compiled into one video that were not quite big enough topics for um, their own video, at least I think. So starting off, um... This is all without script, completely, like, unedited. Um, so we'll see how this goes. But one thing that I just wanted to mention, this is, like, won't take more than a minute. Um, so there are going to be two things with this. Orion at Kings Island got announced yesterday, as most of you will probably know. Um, very big deal right now in the coaster community. Um, and in that announcement video, I you probably didn't notice... But actually, <clears throat> if you look very close, as it goes into the shot of Polaris in the back of the park, or sorry, I call it Polaris, I'm going to do that a lot, that's my bad, uh, as it went to Orion, um, it showed Racer, and if you actually look very closely, you can see that the blue side of Racer, the train is backwards, and I believe it ran backwards once a while ago, I don't know when exactly. But I believe it did run backwards at one point. So, could it be returning to back to its backward state in 2020? I think it will, just because of that. But we will see. Um, and then I'll save that. Uh, yeah. Um, American Eagle. Uh, this actually wasn't in my original plan for this video, but American Eagle is a very big topic in the coaster community right now. And specifically with American Eagle, the topic with it is RMC. And I'm going to give my thoughts on um, RMC American Eagle. So, do I think it has a chance of happening? Yes. Do I think it will be happening in 2020? Absolutely not. <laughs> um, why do I not think it will be happening in 2020? Um, because they literally just got Max Forth this year, guys. And that's like... That's a coaster. <laughs> I don't care if it's a fairly cheap coaster, that's a coaster nonetheless, and that's still a lot of money that they spent. They're not going to go and spend another million, millions of dollars the next year on um, RMC and American Eagle. However, what I do think might happen, I'm not saying it will, but I think this is the most likely if American Eagle is going to get RMC'd, which apparently it has to or it has to get torn down. Something about this law with the highway, I really don't know. Um, I don't live in Chicago, so I have no idea what's going on with it, but what I do think might be happening, assuming they do RMC it, is um, it'll close, it'll pull the seal of vengeance, is what I'm saying. It'll close the end of this year, won't be operating throughout the 2020 season, and you'll see some wood start to come down, and you might start to see some RMC track appear on site, start to see some elements get built up, like RMC elements get built up. And, like I said, not confirmed. This is all entirely speculation. But, um, I think that might be happening. And then in 2021, or maybe even 2022, but I think 2021 is a bit more likely. Just knowing how RMC works and all that. Uh, it's pretty fast. It doesn't take too long. So unless Great America just wanted to, like, kill everyone and leave an entire RMC up for a season, uh, I think it'll happen in 2021, assuming it actually does get RMC'd. But they have been teasing it quite a bit. Like, in there's this National Roller Coaster Day news piece uh, where American Eagle was in the background and, like, everybody's going crazy about, like, OMG, so many teasers, American Eagle is confirmed to get RMC'd. No, it's not confirmed, but it's getting more and more likely. But yeah, I think probably, assuming it does get RMC'd, it will probably get uh, all this stuff and then open in 2021. But now that I've talked about that for way longer than I originally intended to, I'm going to move on into um, a bit of a 
rant because it has to do with Orion again. I kind of hate the coaster community right now. Um, I'm not a fan of uh, a lot of the coaster community right now. <sighs> so, like I said before, as most of you well know, Orion at Kings Island got announced last night. And um, instantly, everyone suddenly just got super, super ridiculously mad. And I'm still trying to figure out why. Because, yeah, the name isn't Polaris. So what? Or Polaris, however you say it. Yeah, so what? Nobody cares. It's a name. The logo's cool. I don't care about the name one bit. Now, if the name was Flight of the Himalayan Eagle Music Coaster, then I would care. But I honestly don't at all. So, yeah, a lot of people complain about that, which is really stupid in my opinion. But then, everybody starts complaining again about the layout. But this time, it isn't just the Kings Island fanboys. It's everyone in we already knew the layout guys like it is it wasn't anything new we already knew exactly what we were gonna get except for the name so like so like um i don't know it's just kind of annoying to me that all of a sudden we already knew everything and still people are like seriously complaining about this and like getting up getting up in arms it's just so really ridiculously annoying to me everybody's being toxic about it but i could rant for that for a lot longer but for the sake of you guys i'm not going to and i'm going to move straight into my final little thing which is actually like a pretty pointless thing so honestly if you want to see what it is stay on but if you don't just leave now i really don't care um i don't care about views at all but Yo, I got a park map wall. Uh, this is going to be really awkward to do. But I just want to quickly go over like what I have on the wall as of now. I only have maps from parks that I visit and or my friends visit, I guess, because I have one that I haven't been to. But I think emailing parks and asking for maps is cheating because like, I could totally get a Wallaby, uh, Wallaby Holland map right now. But I'm not going to because I like collecting maps from parks that I've actually been to or probably will be going to sometime soon. So, starting off, Cedar Point. That's the only park I haven't been to on this wall. Oh, it looks amazing. Honestly, I think it looks like the best park in the world. That's a pretty generic opinion, but I do think that. So yeah, Cedar Point, not much to say about it since I haven't been to it. Six Flags Great America is right next to it. Uh, that's one of my favorite parks right now. I love it. Great coaster lineup. I only got to ride eight of them because it was busy and we didn't have much time, but I need to get back there. Max Force, Viper, Dark Knight. Uh, one side of American Eagle, I don't even know what else to enjoy, Joker, all that kind of stuff. I still need to get on, so I have a lot of credits missing from there. But I'm sure I'll be back there someday, so I'm not too worried about it. Maybe next year, we'll see. But going down, uh, there's Carowinds, which is the most recent park I have been to. Uh, currently, my second favorite park, behind one other on this wall that I will get to later. But yeah, another great coaster lineup, really enjoyed that park. My actual current number one coaster which, honestly, I'm kind of debating now. Uh, Rip Fury Night Rides. Uh, yeah. Alright, next, Silver Dollar City, which is the park that I like better than Carowinds. I love Silver Dollar City so much. Best, or not the best coaster lineup, but amazing coaster lineup, considering they have so few, they do all of them so well. Theming is amazing, atmosphere is great, everything about it is just really nice, and I love Silver Dollar City. Uh, Six Flags Over Georgia. I was at that park for like an hour and a half, got four credits there, and I loved it. <laughs> it was so good. Probably my fourth favorite park right now. Can't wait to hopefully get back there someday, get the rest of the credits, that sort of thing. And I have two more. Six Flags St. Louis, not too much to talk about with this one. It's my home park. I go there very often. Pretty much the only thing interesting on that one is my Worldwide Coaster Kids Day pen that I got from, well, Worldwide Coaster Kids Day, as you could probably assume. But yeah, nothing special. Um... And last but not least is the park in Florida that is better than Disney and just as themed if, well, a little less themed than Disney. Universal Orlando Resort, including Islands of Adventure, liked it way more than Disney. Fight me on that. I really don't care. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot more than Disney. But yeah, that's all my maps. And then I have this little Alpine Coaster ticket thing here. Yeah. 
so that's literally all my maps like i said this part is pretty much pointless but like if you want to see that cool so yeah that's gonna do it for this video um just kind of things that i wanted to make into a video but it wasn't enough for their own video uh happy national roller coaster day uh so yeah i'll see you guys next time bye